Hey, welcome to week 34. So I'm feeling much more rested than I was last week. I got some sleep, I recovered a little bit from LeakyCon, and um, yeah, life kind of went back to normal. This weekend though, we did get to do a movie night at my work. Uh, we actually played a movie, we projected it on the wall, and then we all sat in the lawn. It was kind of like a drive-in type of thing. It was really fun. Um, we we had a pretty good turnout. It was our first time we've ever tried anything like that. So uh, yeah, overall it was really good. I also found that since I was just coming back from vacation and um, you know, I was recovering and resting and lazy that it was really really easy to cheat on things so like cheating on my workout plan and cheating on my diet plan and just you know not really following those guidelines I set for myself so um, this week today actually today started serious time not like actually seriously, I'm not serious. Whatever. Anyway, it's getting down to business. Like, there's no reason to be lazy about this stuff. I enjoy working out. I enjoy eating healthy. It's just that it's so easy not to. If that makes sense. So I'm trying to make it easy to do. Um, I am committing to going to the gym three times a week, if not four. I am committing to eating healthy every day regardless of whether or not people want to go to the bar or people want to go out to eat or whatever. There are healthy options. I just need to pick them. So recommitted starting today. Pretty, I did a pretty good job today. It was my first day recommitting, which it shouldn't be too hard getting back in the swing of things, but it amazingly was um, because all day I just kept thinking, oh my God, I would, I just want a cookie. For like a month and a half, I didn't have a craving for a cookie. And then I you know, get a little lazy, eat some cookies, and now I just want cookies. <sighs> so today I did go to the gym, like I said I was going to, and I was very excited. Um, I, I only did a short workout uh, just because I started not feeling very well. Um, and then something really cool happened to me at the gym um, that reminded me of it just kind of reminded me of kindness. Um, so it was very, it was a very small token of kindness, but I had just finished changing into my gym clothes and I realized I didn't have a ponytail holder. And my hair is getting really long and not having a ponytail holder when I work out, it's not a big deal. Like I'd still go, but it's much easier to be like, oh gross, I don't want to do this anymore. And then like quit. So I made a comment to one of the girls um, that was also in there. She was finishing. She was putting her hair up. And I was like, ah, oh, so jealous of you. I can't believe I forgot my ponytail holder. Um, like, I hate when that happens. So I hate when that happens. She goes, yeah, that and socks. Like, I hate when I forget my socks. Um, so we kind of, like, commiserated over that for a minute. And then she was like, I don't know if you're, like, weird about things, but I have an extra ponytail holder if you want to borrow it. Uh, I won't miss it. And I was like, oh. Cool, thank you. Uh, so I'm not weird about borrowing things, whatever. Um, so I borrowed her ponytail holder and it was really cool um, because you forget how little things like that can really like make someone's day. Like, okay, it's a ponytail holder. It's stupid, it's silly, but at that moment right then, it meant a lot to me. So I was really, I was really kind of touched by it, which again, seems really silly because it was just a ponytail holder. But so many times when you don't know people and they're strangers, you just kind of write them off as they don't matter. And they do, like they all matter. Everyone matters, we all matter. I don't know, something to think about. I know I need to be nicer. A lot of times I need to be way nicer, but, um, yeah, I'd like to start doing more of those simple, kind acts. I bet if we all did, things would be a lot less sucky. Don't you think? It's not even like you have to go out of your way to be kind to people. You could be kind to your friends. How often do you make a snarky comment or you're just joking? Those things hurt, so why not do something that's nice? Why not, instead of just joking, why not just be nice? Why don't you say things that are nice. It's gonna throw people off because they're not gonna expect it, especially if you're snarky. I get a little bit snarky. I'm gonna be the first to admit it. 
I do. I get maybe more than a little bit snarky. How simple is it to just be nice? Start with your friends. I'm also realizing how important it is to support your friends and the things that they do. I can't tell you how awesome it makes me feel when people, uh, when my friends watch my videos and comment on my videos and um, and like them on Facebook and things like that. Uh, it's it, it means a lot because um, it's something that's important to me and they're realizing that it's important to me and, and you know, being really cool about it. And I just really appreciate that and I hope that I am that supportive to, to my friends that are doing things. And if I'm not being supportive of you, call me out on it. Like, seriously, I should be supportive of, I mean, I like really, really dorky, nerdy, ridiculous things. But I would just hope that my friends would support me in, in anything like that. And I just want them to know, if any of you watch this, I'm going to support you in whatever you do, because that's what a friend's supposed to do, right? Okay, okay, so this vlog has been a little bit sappy, and I'm sorry, because I don't usually do that, but um, I don't know, it's just where my mind is right now. <laughs> anyway, um, so a couple things that I have not touched on yet. Doctor Who, we finished, finally finished the second series and I bawled like a baby, which was a little bit awkward because we watched it while we were on the train coming back from WikiCon, but it was, it was so good. Oh my God. I, oh, Rose. So if you don't watch that show, you should probably watch it because it's really amazing. And then my second thing is Pride and Prejudice. So I'm about halfway through. Um, I think I let you guys know last week that I was reading it. So I'm about halfway through and I love it. I can't believe it took me this long to read this book. So if you have not read it, you should totally read it because it's fantastic. Like, fantastic. Um, I'm also looking for some books to read when I'm done with that. I still have a few books that I bought and I haven't read them yet, but I don't know that I'm necessarily in the mood for those because they're things that I've read already um, or things that I've read the beginnings of and the ending will always be there, but I'm looking for new things. Um, so if you have any suggestions, sorry, my hair is kind of, so if you have any suggestions, um, let me know. I would love, love, love to hear them. Um, other than that, I don't have much else. Um, this weekend is going to be pretty low-key. Anywho, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.